Good morning, everybody. It's David George Brook, that gratitude guy with the daily gratitude news for Tuesday, August 25th, 2020. And today is an editorial comment called Get Off the Damn Phone. Uh, And I write, earlier this week, I was in a Starbucks, a place I spend a considerable amount of time, and I watched a customer wait in line, order his drink, and pick it up while the whole time he was on his cell phone. What has happened to our society, our sense of community, and most of all, our common courtesy? It took all the restraint that I could muster to keep from saying, get off the damn phone. He never said hello, thank you, or anything else, just ordered his drink and he was, as he was walking away and kept talking the entire time. Every person that I have ever met has told me about the ups and downs in their life. It's never all up or all down. I'm so passionate about using gratitude to get you through the challenging times and enhance things when times are good. It's so valuable to be grateful for all the things you have in your life, including the convenience of a cell phone. How about we put down the phone occasionally and interact with people the way we used to? And even during the pandemic, it still has probably proven more further and further as we social distance that it's nice to still communicate and have connections with other people. Friends are one of the most valuable resources you can have in your life. So maybe just occasionally get off the damn phone and tell a friend how grateful you are to have them in your life. Your friend will appreciate it more than you know. Now the gratitude tip of the day. Try to get off your phone for a minute, an hour, or a day. You might be surprised at the gratitude you will see for so many other things in your life. So that's the message for the day from the Gratitude News. We'll see you tomorrow. Remember, be grateful and never quit.